Hi, it's Mr. Mabry, and we just got done learning about genes and chromosomes, so now it's time to talk about chromosomal disorder. Now you'll realize in our last set of notes, we looked at chromosomes and genes and how DNA is wound up in these chromosomes and passed on from parents to offspring uh, in order to give us the unique set of characteristics that make us who we are. And as we talked about genes and chromosomes, I kept talking um, or using these pictures right here to talk about the sets we have how um, we have 23 pairs, women having two X chromosomes or two big ones right here, and men having one X and one small Y. But I've never told you that there's a name for this picture. And the name for these pictures are karyotypes. So let's talk about how we make these karyotypes or these pictures of our chromosomes. Okay, so let's take a look at this picture right here. You don't have to write anything in your notes yet, but it's important to understand how um, these karyotypes are made. First, we have to draw your blood. You put it in a test tube. You add some different chemicals um, in order to release your DNA. And you should recognize this from our last unit, that if you add water to a bunch of cells, it's going to be put into a hypotonic solution, which is going to call your cells to lice or to pop. And then once they are able to pop, um, you're going to get all that DNA to come out in solution, and if you spin it really fast, it's going to settle onto the bottom, and you can dump out all the water, and you can get all your DNA to sit here on a slide. And then, if we put the DNA under a microscope, we can see it. Um, once we're able to pull the DNA out of those cells, and what we're going to see is a huge jumble of all these chromosomes in the microscope. So what we need to do is arrange those chromosomes that aren't in any particular order um, in order for us to analyze what the chromosomes in our cells look like. And so if you have a low-tech, one low-tech way of doing this is to cut them out and to arrange them from tallest to shortest. Um, a more high-tech way would be to use a computer program to click and drag them, um, but for our purposes, um, and what we're going to do this week, we're going to cut them out and we're going to arrange them in order from tallest to shortest by pairs. And remember I said you get one complete set from mom and one complete set from dad. So that means dad will give you one, uh, chromosome number one that looks like this and mom will give you a chromosome number one. And then the slightly shorter chromosome number two, dad will give you one of those and mom will give you one of those. So on and so forth. So I know you're wondering, so what am I supposed to write down in my notes, Mr. Mabry? This is all well and great. Well, let's write down that a karyotype is a picture showing all of the stained chromosomes within one cell. They're photographed and arranged by height. And these longer chromosomes near the top tend to have more DNA because that's why they're longer. And these chromosomes near the bottom tend to have less DNA. And the reason I say tend to have less is, remember, our last pair right here is a really special pair known as the sex chromosomes. And this one, the X sex chromosome, is really, really long. And you would think it goes up here at the top, except because it's a sex chromosome, we put it down here at the bottom. What I'm going to spend the rest of these notes talking about is what happens when we don't have 46 chromosomes? What happens if for some reason, say, we have an extra chromosome from mom? Or what if, when we get our chromosomes from dad, something happens to one of the chromosomes and we're missing one? Well, these are known as chromosomal disorders when this happens. And what happens is sometimes, for a variety of reasons, an egg or a sperm will have one less or one more chromosome than they need to have. And when they have one less chromosome, we call this a monosomy. Mono meaning one, so your egg or sperm is missing one chromosome. And a trisomy, tri meaning three, a trisomy is when they have an extra chromosome than they need. And that hence the word tri. So instead of having two of each chromosome, you would have three, and you get the idea. And, what, and you, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what, what would be the effect of this? Well. Let's think about if um, you were putting together like a toy, right? I'm a dad, and I have to put together all sorts of random stuff for my kid at birthdays and Christmas. Well, if DNA is the information for making something, if I have an extra chromosome, that's like throwing in a bunch of extra information for making a toy. Oh, my God, that's going to make me rip my hair out because I don't know which instructions am I supposed to follow. But that means a monosomy is... If I'm having less chromosomes, then it means I don't have all the information. So it's like getting an instruction booklet and, and not having a bunch of the pages. I'm never going to build that toy, which is why, and we're going to write this down because we're writing down this whole page, often chromosomal disorders will lead to birth defects, mental retardation, um, and even death. 
And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to post a series of slides, and you won't be writing anything for a while, but we're going to talk through where the disorder is and the effects of that disorder on children. And just to prepare you, there, there are going to be some sad stories ahead, but this is connecting science to real life, um, and it's going to impact you because you're going to probably be a parent one day, and you're going to want to know about these chromosomal disorders. So here we go, chromosomal disorder number one. Why don't you take three seconds, scan here, and see where is there something out of place in this karyotype. Let's see, one pair, two, three, four, five, normal, normal, normal. I'm seeing pairs, pairs, pair 13, 14, 15, pair 16, pair 17, pair... Wait a second. What do we have here? One, two, three. That's a trisomy. This disorder is known as trisomy. And what do we have here? Do we have a boy or a girl? Let's see. I have two X's. I have no Y's. That means I have a girl with trisomy 18. Now, this trisomy is known as Edwards syndrome. Whoops. Went ahead. Now, you don't have to write this information down. These were notes my high school biology students used to take, but just, just take it in real quick. Edwards syndrome. Almost every organ system is affected. One out of 3,000 babies who are born have this syndrome. However, 95% die in utero, in the uterus, which means um, unless there's an autopsy performed, we don't, we don't even know um, if they had Edwards syndrome, so that number is probably a lot higher. And if you are born, only 50% survive until um, they reach two months. There's a bunch of information. You can go on that um, website right here and check it out. Here is a little picture of a baby, just so you know what one looks like. Um, a born with Edwards syndrome, and you can already see the distended belly. Um, the number of digits are off. You can just see from the formation of the fingers right here that there is something seriously wrong um, and really sad about um, children who are born with this disorder. Okay, let's, ta let's take a look at disorder number two. Um, now, you might be thinking, oh, what's wrong with these chromosomes? Well, remember, DNA, this karyotype was taken as the DNA was floating in the cell, so it's like, I'm floating, I'm floating, uh, and you took a picture of me and I was leaning over here. I'm floating, floating, uh, and so the DNA, the, these are fine. These happen to be straight. These were sort of dancing and bending over, but nothing's wrong with it, but what's wrong is, oh, did you catch it over here? Look at that. So what do we have? Monosomy or trisomy? Trisomy. This um, disorder is known as Pata syndrome or trisomy 13 because it affects the 13 chromosome. Um, small head, small eyes, a cleft palate, rocker bottom feet. Do you see how the feet here curve on the bottom? Um, a lot of internal birth defects and a pretty um, low survival rate. Here's a story I found about a kid online a few years back. This was back in 2007. A mom is writing about um, her son Zion, you can see a feeding, a trach tube, I'm sorry, not a gastric tube, but a, um, a breathing tube right here. Um, feel free to read about that, but again, a really hard chromosomal disorder. Okay, chromosomal disorder number three, where is it, where is it, where is it, is it right here, is it right, oh no, we're not missing an X chromosome because this is a boy, we have an X and a Y, we're looking, well, aha, right here, chromosomal disorder 21, we have trisomy 21, the one you are probably most familiar with, or Down syndrome. Um, people with Down syndrome have Down's facial features, thick neck, short stature, almond-shaped eyes, often mental retardation, heart defects, um, holes in their heart, decreased fertility. And this will be interesting for you. As women get older, the percent chances of having a baby with Down syndrome go up quite a bit. Here's a graph, and you can see, too far ahead, I'm sorry, whoop, wrong way. One more. Come on, computer. As women get older, 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 oh, I'm 35, I'm 30, I'm 40, boom. The percent chance of getting Down syndrome starts to skyrocket compared to um, what it was earlier. Here's some pictures of individuals with Down syndrome. Um, you can, you know, facial features of people with Down syndrome tend to be similar. So if you've seen one person with Down syndrome, um, they, they appear to be related to other individuals with Down syndrome. And so that, that's one way to sort of tell. I have a lot of friends um, who have siblings with Down syndrome. I'm sure you do too. And now you know the basic for that condition. It's they have one extra chromosome. Okay, and then there's some um, famous sex chromosome disorders. This would be, wrong way, computer. This would be um, someone who has only one X, but not a second X. It's our only monosomy disorder, monosomy 23. Um, so this is for women. You can see there's a host of problems if you have this disorder known as Turner syndrome. There is 
triple X woman. Wow, she has an extra X chromosome. And what's interesting about this is you would never know. Um, because you are normal, you are healthy, you are fertile, the only way we would know would be to get some sort of a blood test and have a karyotype performed. Um, this one, Kleinfelters. The question is, am I a guy or a girl? I have two X's, so it seems like I should be a girl, but that Y chromosome has that one little tiny gene near the top um, that's going to make me a male, but I will have some female characteristics. And then there is um, XYY, or a super, whoop, come back slide, a super tall male with that extra Y chromosome, and then a deadly chromosomal disorder if I have nothing, neither an X, um, I'm sorry, not neither, but if I don't have an X, then I'm definitely just going to be dead because I need one X chromosome. So let's see, which sex disorder do I have right here? I have one long one, but nothing else. That is going to be monosomy X. Uh, let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Okay, here I have one X, two X's, and a Y. That's going to be that XXY disorder or Kleinfelter's. Let's do one more for practice. Here again, I have one X, I don't have a second X, and I don't have a Y, so this is another karyotype of Turner syndrome, those monosomy X disorder. Okay, I know we haven't written down a lot for notes, but I hope you've appreciated the need to have that exact number of chromosomes in order not to have those different chromosomal disorders. So get ready, because the next thing we're doing in this class is... Um, performing a karyotype analysis where you're going to put a karyotype together for a child and research the specific disorder they have if it comes back with a number greater or less than 46. All right, get excited. Here we go.